Bug Fixes is a collection SKSE plugin that fixes engine bugs. Bug Fixes fixed a bug where certain abilities or spells did not work properly even though it had been a long time since the abilities caused by magic were activated. And the movement speed of the player and non-player characters is only updated when their movement type changes. In addition, the bug fixes change to ignore the value of enchantments when calculating speech experience in the game. This means you will now get very little experience when selling items that get the most value from enchantments like robes and staffs. Furthermore, it fixes a bug where when buying or selling things in bulk, Speechcraft experience was giving the same amount of experience as buying and selling one. Have you ever wondered why Skyrim's animals can't swim? Why do all animals sink underwater like fish? Animal Swim mod changes Skyrim's animals to float and swim instead of sinking underwater. Not only that, the Animal Swim mod changes Skyrim's animals to move more slowly in the water. And if the animal rushes into the water during the sprint, it sinks under the water for a few seconds and then floats on the water. This mod was developed by the wise creator Jay Serpa, and his ideas stand out. Behavior Data Injector is a SKSE plugin that allows mod authors to inject their custom graph variables and animation events into behavior files during game runtime, without the necessary to modify behavior file or create a nemesis patch. You can add three type of graph variable, int, pool, float into behavior projects via Behavior Data Injector. The added variables are all the same as the vanilla existed one, they can be set in, get via vanilla papyrus functions or condition functions. You can add new animation event into behavior projects via behavior data injector. The added event then could be triggered by animation annotations. What do you think of Dovahkiin? who already knows the names of every new NPC in Skyrim? Or are you a little dissatisfied with the standardized and fixed names of NPCs? NPCs Names Distributor Mod is a framework that allows to generate and distribute names to any NPCs using SPID. Highly customizable through configuration files. Supports any NPCs from any mods. It doesn't do much on its own in your mod list and serves as a dependency for other mods that want to distribute any names to any NPCs. As it is a method of changing the NPC's name by adding code through the distribution file, you may feel difficult at first. For this part, the creator explains in detail how to change the title or name through the description. But, the Ashlander Nomads, Daedric, Dova, Reachman Tribes, and Tamerlit's name mods based on this mod allow you to conveniently diversify your names and titles. This mod enables Papyrus scripts to execute console commands. When you click on an object with the console, you can check various information such as object name, editor ID, health, magicka, stamina, level, race, effect, etc. In case of a collision because a specific texture is not implemented during modding, you can check the object's texture path by checking the object's coded in real time through console util. And by clicking on the actors on the console, you can see various detailed information including their stats in real time. Hide Those Feudal Quests is a mod that can hide or show quests through MCM. You can hide or show any quest through Hide Those Feudal Quests. Even the main quest can be hidden. Sometimes too many quests can make the player feel overwhelmed. In that case, hide the quests you are not playing and activate only the quests you need. The mark on your compass will be greatly reduced and it will be more convenient to see the compass.
Ever wondered how the hell some NPCs in your game suddenly just went missing? Well, chances are they probably died outside your vision. Now, you can track the deaths of NPCs around the player and at least have an idea about how they went. Obituary Mod is an MCM plugin that logs NPC deaths and even notifies you. You can check the NPC who died in the log category of the obituary, and you can check the name, sex, master mod, form ID, killer, and date of death. Dragons appear in villages like Riverwood or Falkris, which are usually located in Skyrim world, and NPCs often die, so this mod will be helpful for players who need information about the dead NPCs. In addition, this mod also supports the ability to teleport to the target the player hunts through the MCM settings. Where are you mod finds NPCs found in the game? If you use the hotkey through MCM, the screen for censorship appears. Enter the name of the NPC to find and a wheel menu will appear. Through the wheel menu, you can check the inventory of NPCs, clone them, track them, check their stats or information, or teleport them. If you select clone from the wheel menu, you can set the name of the NPC to be cloned. At this time, if you specify the name of the NPC to be cloned, a clone of the NPC will be created. If you select info from the wheel menu, you can know the NPC's information in the form of a message. You can see the NPC's name, code ID, race, gender, tracking status, clone NPC, and location. You can check the skill stats of the NPC by selecting stat from the wheel menu. You can check the rate of health, magicka, and stamina. And you can check fire, cold, lightning, disease resistance, and other skill stats. If you select track from the wheel menu, a quest to track that NPC will appear. If you choose this quest, the location of the NPC will be indicated by an arrow, so you can track the NPC conveniently. And you can summon NPCs to you by selecting teleport from the wheel menu. You can check the belongings of the NPC by selecting inventory from the wheel menu. Not only that, you can bring the NPC's belongings in real time, and conversely, you can hand over your items to the NPC. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. The video's voice and subtitles were created based on the creator's description. Subscription like notification setting is very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.